hello it is i i am sick so get ready to deal with my nasally voice and my coughs uh so i started with the facial rig you know it's just a simple you know spheres with the mouth and then the cheeks i might add tears later but you know i started with that every single bone Every single part has either one bone controlling the object or a bone controlling a single vertice. And then I have a main bone that the camera is parented to. So I have this. Yeah, whatever it sees, it'll capture. So that's why I have it right over here. And, you know. It's a very simple 2D face rig subdivisions you know the whole nine how to get this onto the person though it is very both simple and not so what I did was I found something by his name is Kalupsi it was created by Kalupsi who I took the code from uh, this is it right here. You go into scripting, make a new thing, put this in the code, and there you have this. You get this code, you copy it, you put it into a new thing, and then you run the script. What's going to happen is you're going to get a texture called live texture. To make it work, you need to have a object called live cam. So now we have our thing. Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. It doesn't impact your frames too much, if at all. So, like, yeah, it's essentially real time, which is very fun. Yeah, it should be it. Um, make sure when you script it to set it to the resolution you want. I you I usually have it set to two thousand, but um, one thousand works too, I guess. I had to fix some UV unwrapping because, um, you know, I currently have it unwrapped. I'm not sure how the wrapping, how good the unwrapping is, essentially. So I have to, like, to avoid that, I have to make that bigger. And that should be kind of fixed it'll it'll work itself out probably hopefully but yeah that's how you do that it works based off of you know texture and unwrapped so that's a plane if I got another plane with the face it's like looking in a perfect mirror